Hey kid, why don't werewolves like to buy singles? Because they prefer packs. Sorry, Professor. Two years ago, I did a budget commander on Werewolf Tribal, where I showed how to assemble an optimized werewolf pack at a low budget. Back then, werewolves had only appeared in two Innistrad blocks, and we only had a single commander option for them, Ulrich of the Kralen Horde. The werewolves under Ulrich were pretty good, but lacked that silver bullet to push them over the moon. But now with the release of Midnight Hunt, not only did we get a bunch more powerful werewolf support cards, we also finally got the werewolf alpha the players were hoping for. Tovalar Dire Overlord is here, and it's got werewolf players howling with joy. This commander does everything the archetype wants. It draws a ton of cards, like a cheaper Toski Bearer of Secrets. It transforms all your werewolves with minimal setup, like a better Vilden Pack Alpha. And it tosses in the iconic pump ability from Kessig Wolf Run, all for just three mana. With Tovalar leading the pack, werewolves went from a neglected beta to a dominant alpha at the tables, proving once again that any archetype can gain a huge power boost if you just put an undercosted, massive card draw engine in the command zone. Now that we've got an excellent commander and a third set's worth of werewolf cards, it's time to brew a new list. So what are we aiming for? How does the deck play and how does it win? Well, werewolves have a pretty simple goal. We play a bunch of werewolves, transform them into huge beaters, and beat face. Our goal is to win with combat damage. Werewolves are naturally friggin' huge on their backsides and love pumping up your attackers as well. So all you gotta do is play werewolves, transform them, and beat face. Very simple. But how you transform your werewolves and keep them transformed is a tricky part. So how are we going to be reliably wolfing out? Well, Tovalar does it really easily for us, but outside of our commander, there are two main ways. The first way is not casting spells on our own turn, which will pretty much guarantee that our werewolves transform to their backsides. Instead, we're going to cast spells on our opponent's turns using cards that give our spells flash, like Arlen the Pax Hope and Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, giving our werewolf creatures flash. Or we can put creatures directly into play without casting them with cards like Vivian's Arcbow and Elvish Piper. The second main way is by stopping our opponents from casting multiple spells per turn cycle. Rurik Thar is a great way to make our opponents think twice about casting non-creature spells. And we can pack loads of artifact hate, like Bane of Progress, to destroy mana rocks, limiting the amount of mana opponents are working with. Finally, if your playgroup is okay with messing with lands, we can use Blood Moon as a powerful and flavorful way to disrupt our opponent's abilities to cast spells. I consider Blood Moon a no-brainer in werewolf decks because look at it, it's a full moon, it's perfect and thematic for the deck. Just make sure that your playgroup is cool with it. So our game plan is very simple. Play a bunch of werewolves, then transform them various ways like our commander Tovalar or flashing them in, or preventing our opponents from casting multiple spells, then finally shred our opponents with our huge undercosted beaters. Simple yet very effective. So the first part of the deck is of course the werewolves and werewolf support cards. And these are the first cards that I would look to add, the alphas of the pack. We're looking for cards that offer useful utility to the deck outside of just being big dumb beaters. And the more mana efficient they are, the better. Werewolves that double as efficient removal are premium here. So Outland Liberator slash Frenzied Trap Breaker is amazing artifact and enchantment removal, as is Afflicted Deserter slash Werewolf Rainstacker to get rid of artifacts. And Daybreak Ranger slash Nightfall Predator and Ulrich of the Kralen Horde slash Ulrich Uncontested Alpha are both great repeatable creature removal as well. Wolf token generators are especially good here as well, since a lot of our werewolves support wolves. Most notably Tovalar, which lets us draw cards off them. Mayor of Avabrook slash Howlpack Alpha, Huntmaster of the Fells slash Ravager of the Fells, Tovalar's Huntmaster slash Tovalar's Pack Leader, and Wolfcaller's Howl are all great wolf token makers here. Another important category are cards that pump up our army. Our deck wins through combat damage, so we need efficient ways to get damage through. 
cards like Breakneck Rider slash Neckbreaker, Reckless Stormseeker slash Stormcharge Slasher, Instigator Gang slash Wildblood Pack, and Full Moon's Rise beef up our army and push damage through. Once we've filled up on the best werewolf cards, we add some ways to transform the werewolves and keep them transformed. Tovalar is obviously the best way to do this, but we can also force our old werewolves to flip with Moonmist or flip our new werewolves with the Celestis and Unnatural Moonrise, both which make it night and turn our wolves nightbound. We'll also add some ways to flash in our werewolves to transform them easier with cards like Vivian, Champion of the Wilds, Arlen, the Pack's Hope, Yeva, Nature's Herald, and Vernal Equinox. And we'll slow down our opponents from casting spells with Mana Disruption, blowing up artifacts with Bane of Progress, discouraging spell casting with Rurik Thar, and messing with lands with Magus of the Moon and Thorn of Amethyst. Also, since Werewolf Tribal is inherently a creature-heavy archetype, I like to lean into that and really go hard on the creature theme with support cards. Run huge ramp cards like Somberwalt Sage, draw cards off casting creatures with Beast Whisperer, make a wolf and cast creatures off the top of your library with the Ranger class, or flip werewolves off the top of our library with Lurking Predators. These cards are absolutely insane if you have a high enough creature count, something like 40 or more. Alright, now that we've talked about the cards, let's look at some sample deck lists which you can find linked in the video description below. The cheapest one starts at $50. While this list doesn't have all the best werewolves, since the older ones have spiked up in price recently, it has more than enough tribal staples to make it a monster at most playgroups. The goal is simply to play werewolves, transform them, and smash face. The $100 list picks up more werewolf staples like Ulrich of the Kralenhorn and Mayor of Averbruck along with a bunch of other sweet non-tribal upgrades. The $200 list finally contains all the best werewolf tribal cards, even the priciest ones like Huntmaster of the Fells. The rest of the deck starts getting upgraded as well. This is my personal sweet spot for werewolf tribal. Finally, the $400 list has upgraded the rest of the deck into its final form. The mana base is now way better and we've got the full stacks package online like Blood Moon. While this is not CEDH, this deck is more than strong enough to terrorize most playgroups. And again, if your playgroup is not okay with stacks cards, I have substitute cards listed in the article linked in the video description below. And there you have it, budget werewolves updated for Midnight Hunt under Tovalar Dire Overlord. If you're interested in a more in-depth guide to the deck, then check out the accompanying article linked in the video description below. If you like this video and want to support the channel, then please be sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. We're really close to 40k subs and that would be a huge milestone for us. Thanks for watching and until next time friends, see ya!